Welcome. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to take an ANSYS HFSS finite array antenna system model and export it for use in both the Perceive EM GPU-based solver and in the RF channel modeler so that one could use it as a multi-channel antenna model for a base station communicating with subscribers moving in the environment. Let's get started with the demonstration. Here's, again, my phased array model. It's been simulated, and you can, of course, look at a collection of radiation patterns for various beam steering angles of interest. Each element can also be stimulated uniquely to be able to visualize a sort of a phase center uh, far field pattern that corresponds to each element in each port. Now, each element has two ports, one for vertical polarization and one for horizontal polarization. So there will exist two patterns, each located at the phase center of each of these elements. And that's a key uh, model type to have, both for the ANSYS Perceive EM, shooting and bouncing ray solver for GPU, as well as the ANSYS RF channel modeler, such as in that Denver scene that I just showed you a moment ago. Coming back again to this model, I want to have uh, a complete array model in terms of embedded element patterns that I can use uh, in the uh, RF channel modeler. And to do this very quickly and efficiently, I locate the radiation node for this model, right click and find metadata export. This will give us a series of options to choose, for example, a particular analysis setup name or a particular uh, far field radiation pattern um, to use, and, um, and then a location in which to place uh, the collection of models, which could also include all of the S parameters, even broadband S parameters that correspond to each of the 32 ports. Now, this is going to result right now in writing 32 far field patterns into my uh, export location. When the export process is complete, you should find in your export directory a subdirectory and an XML metadata file corresponding to the name of your design. The metadata file contains information about the phase centers of each of the elements port locations or the elements themselves, a corresponding far field pattern for that particular port, and the elements location within the lattice. In addition, there will be a subdirectory that has element pattern information, and there we will find 32 far field pattern tables, each corresponding to one of the elements. Now let's put this array into the RF channel modeler. The RF channel modeler has a base station location already defined. We call it a sensor location, and we're going to apply our phased array model to this yellow dot location in this RF channel modeler project. That will be attached to the base station sensor model that you see here under base station one. To import that antenna model, I bring up the RF channel modeler application, select the base station sensor location called BSSEN1, and create a new base station definition. This has an antenna of course, a waveform definition and a graphics location that you can enable. We will load an antenna or an element export pattern group, which will come from that directory. And that in fact will be our embedded element pattern model. That is the XML file. That metadata file will tell the RF channel modeler everything it needs to know. Once it's loaded all the patterns, you should be able to go to the graphics node and enable, and you can start to see the patterns beginning to show up. Now they're very small in terms of their spacings, so you may need to add a scale factor to this in order to expand the view of them a bit. And there you can see, we have our phased array system here with 32 component channels that will be used for wireless channel modeling. Phased array, import complete. 